Good morning. It is about 7 a.m. I thought I would run out here real quick before it gets too hot and kind of give you a quick garden tour. I know I haven't done that much this year <laughs> and I it was on my to-do list for about a month ago and it just didn't happen and I probably should have done it. Made it a point to get it done because the garden's not so pretty now. <laughs> We're in the middle of July. Things are starting to dry out a little bit. We haven't had much rain in the last couple of weeks, so I'm having to water more. The grasshoppers have shown up this year. We typically have them really bad every few years, and I think this is going to be one of those years. So there's not a whole lot to see right now. From here, it just looks like a big mess. <laughs> this is where my potatoes were right here. They've already died back and so I've mowed them down. We have not dug them out just yet, but you can see that there's some nice potatoes in there. I have two different kinds. There's the Kennebec, and then I have some red potatoes in here. So we still have to dig those out. Uh, this fence trellis here, I had my snap peas on and some climbing green beans. The snap peas, of course, are all done. And I never did get around to replanting anything there, so it's just kind of a mess. Green beans down here, the pole beans, they uh, are not doing so hot either. There's some that are still alive, but I really haven't had much production from them. I just think it's too dry. Even the little guys that are on here are not plump. I mean, they're, I don't know. They don't look that great. I just think I'm not watering enough. My zucchini is doing well. I've had some good production from these six plants. Um, but again, I, I just think I need to water more. Uh, I've got some old broccoli stalks that need to come out yet. Basil here is doing all right. My green beans, the bush beans. I've got some that are still doing decent, but for the most part, they're getting eaten up by the grasshoppers. See, you can see this plant. Look at that. Leaves completely gone off of it. There's a few plants in here that are still holding on, but the grasshoppers are just really taking their toll on everything. One lone cabbage in here. I have never successfully grown a cabbage before, so I don't know if I should pick it or let it grow. I mean, how can you tell if it's ready? My cucumbers, as you can see here, doing poorly. They were so good in the first half of the summer and I was getting a ton of cucumbers. We were getting amounts like this every few days. Yeah, there's a few I see I've missed picking so they're no good. But yeah, this, is, this looks terrible. This looks bad, and I'm hoping if I increase the watering, maybe they'll come back a little bit. But if the grasshoppers don't let up, then I'll probably lose it all. Tomatoes are really the only thing that are still doing pretty well. In fact, I probably have to pick some more today. I see quite a few red ones in here. I've gotten a lot of tomatoes so far. Um, I've made some salsa and some tomato basil sauce which is really, really good. So the tomatoes are doing well. I have some, of course, lots of sunflowers. They're just for looks more than anything. <laughs> and then we've got some peppers here next to the tomatoes. And this is hard for me to weed because there's just a lot of grass growing in between all the pepper plants. But let's see if I can find. Yeah. I've got some jalapeno peppers and some bell peppers, which have not started producing anything yet. It's very weedy in here. Yeah, my bell peppers haven't done anything. And then I have these little, I don't know if you can see that from here. These are some hot peppers. I believe they're called Santa Fe Grande, something like that. I can't remember for sure. So those will be interesting. I've not grown any of those before. This little spot is where my onions and lettuce were, and of course they're all done now. There's some 
ducks. Good morning, ducks. The sun is bright. So that's really it for my garden tour this year. Um, I should have shown you earlier in the season when it was prettier. Like back in June when this was taken. Because it was really nice and I did a really good job of keeping it clean and tilled and weed free. And then these last, well I guess the last month, you know, it's just been so busy with the house and working on the siding and all that, that the garden has taken a back seat. And I quit weeding, I quit uh, using the tiller to till up my rows, and I just got the <laughs> push mower out and just kind of push mowed in between my rows so at least I could walk through there without, you know, six foot tall grass <laughs> all around me. So here's some of the things that I've canned this year so far. We've got lots of different kinds of dill pickles, some relish. I like dill relish, I don't like sweet relish, so I only have dill relish. <laughs> um, we've got, of course, the pickled jalapenos, some pickled green beans that we have not tried yet, because um, I think you're supposed to let them sit for a few weeks before you eat them. Some salsa, and some of this delicious, garlic basil tomato sauce. Look at that. Can't wait to try that. So that's mainly what I've done. We've eaten already a few quarts of our pickles because they are so good. But this is what I've got left so far of our harvest. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, be sure to check back again for more updates. Thanks. Bye.